Game Garage, my name is Johnny L. Today I'm going to be talking about Laserdisc arcade games. I'm going to be playing a few scenes from some of my favourite games like Dragon's Lair and Space Ace. I'm going to be explaining what a Laserdisc is and how games like Dragon's Lair and Space Ace work. That, my friends, is a Laserdisc. Dragon's Lair and Space Ace, uh, plus many other arcade games of, say, uh, the early 80s, uh, were basically run from this, which is a video disc. They were just uh, full motion video, uh, uh, digitally recorded onto these discs, and then basically the games basically revolved around playing you a scene from uh, a particular point in the game. Uh, you then did a move, and if the move was correct, then basically the laser would then jump to another part of the disc and the game would continue, and if you did it wrong, it would jump to somewhere else and then give you a death sequence. Uh, so yeah, it was very linear, but at the time, if you think about it, these came out, these games came out looking like this when there was Pac-Man and Donkey Kong, the next machine next to it, so everybody was like, you know. Uh, but yeah, as I say, um, this was, this was pretty blow away. And uh, what I will be doing in a second, I will show you a small example uh, from Dragon's Lair of exactly one of those choices. So let's get started. Dragon's Lair, the fantasy adventure where you become a valiant knight on a quest to rescue the fair princess from the clutches of an evil dragon. You control the actions of a daring adventurer finding his way through the castle of a dark wizard who has enchanted it with treacherous monsters and obstacles. In the mysterious caverns below the castle, your odyssey continues against the awesome forces that oppose your efforts to reach the dragon slayer. Lead on, adventurer. Your quest awaits. Okay, I'd like to show you a quick example from one of the dungeons in Dragon's Lair. And I'm going to freeze the uh, game in a moment so you can see one of the choices. Here it goes. Let's freeze it. So the choice is the exit or pull the chain. I'm going to go for the exit. But if I had pulled the chain... <laughs> Okay, so let's play Dragon's Lair. Again, I'm going to play for a few of my favourite scenes. Uh, and then afterwards I'm going to briefly talk about uh, the sequel game, which was called Space Ace. Which again, I really, really like. And I'll be playing a few scenes from that game later on. So uh, keep watching and uh, I hope you enjoy it.
scenes there from the Dragon's Lair arcade game, some of those that I really enjoy. I'd love to have shot the entire game, um, but there's about half an hour's footage on there, uh, it would make uh, the episode would be too long. Uh, initially I wanted to record the footage direct from the monitor, uh, but um, I decided that the quality wasn't good enough and I thought it took away from uh, how cool the, the game actually looks. So, um, I now want to talk about Space Ace, uh, and what I'm now going to do is I'm going to play a few scenes from that as well. So, this is Space Ace, and uh, in fact this particular cabinet is a conversion. It was Dragon Air 2 when I first bought it, and um, I got the conversion kit and changed all the artwork, and now it's um, as you see it. Um, I will cover Dragon Air 2 in a future video, um, but there wasn't time in this video to cover that there. Let's play Space Ace. Space Ace, defender of justice, truth, and the planet Earth. Ace is being attacked by the evil Commander Borg. Hold your fire! Who is that creep? Borg. Earth means must surrender to me. No way, Borg, old buddy. Oh! Ah, I've been hit! By the Infanto Ray. Earth means must surrender to me. Struggle with Dexter to regain his manhood. Destroy the Infanto Ray. Defeat the evil Borg. Hey, Borg. <laughs> Come on, Kimberly, let's go. I've been hit. Be valiant, space warrior. The fate of Earth is in your hands. There's Borg's ship. Close me, me. Thank you. 
rolling. Aha! Borf is here! Some great footage there from Space Ace, uh, and that's all I've got time for in this particular video. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the footage that I filmed from these machines, and I do intend to uh, film some of my other games in the collection for future videos, so uh, I'll catch you then.